Our final speaker on the panel before we are joined by Elizabeth May uh, is really, I, I don't know exactly how, how to say it other than to say that uh, Sherry Honkala is maybe one of my heroes. Uh, straight up. You know, many of you, many of you who know a little bit about me know that I grew up in grinding poverty. It's, it, it shaped everything about me, the fact that I grew up in rural poverty. And so uh, people who come up and out of poverty resonate with me. Uh, but Sherry not only was a homeless mother on the streets, uh, but it's important to recognize that not only did she come up and out of poverty, although she's living in poverty still, uh, but what she did was actually bring people with her. Which is to say, not only did she have an opportunity to get out, but she formed the Kensington Welfare Rights Union to ad have poor people advocate for themselves to make changes in the way the urban poor are treated in this country. And of course, she didn't, she didn't just advocate, but she raised hell. I gotta say, yeah. you know, how you and I both have pretty good arrest records, but it pales in comparison. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of a piker compared to her. I want to get out there and, and, and get with it. You know, the reality is, though, that Sherry Honkala really is a, a name that if we actually had a democratic media would be a name that we would all know, we should all know. And progressive media actually has done a pretty decent job of covering her because of her fearless work for economic fairness in this country. She was named Philadelphia Magazine's one of their 100 most powerful Philadelphians. Philadelphia Weekly, which is actually the, the alternative weekly, the People's uh, Weekly, named her Woman of the Year in 1997. She's been profiled in The Nation magazine, in Mother Jones, who named her one of their Hell Raisers of the Month. She was Ms. Magazine's Woman of the Year in 2001. And folks, think about this. She has not only joined the Green Party, not only is she running for office, but a homeless advocate, a former homeless person herself, is running for sheriff in Philadelphia. You know, the sheriff, the job, the job who is supposed to evict people and foreclose on people, how about this as a campaign slogan, no evictions, no foreclosures, everybody stays in their home, Sherry Honkla. What a wonderful introduction. <laughs> I'm going to try to do this. I'm one of those people that speaks with my hands. Um, so yes, I'm Sherry Honkala. I'm running for sheriff of Philadelphia, the first woman to ever run for sheriff in Philadelphia. You know, and uh, when the Green Party came into my office and sat down, there was a couple mem uh, members of the Green Party. I know, you know, Hillary told you a little bit about this the other night and said, you know, Sherry, we've come up with this great idea. And I'm like, okay, this is interesting. They said, you know, we think that if you run for sheriff in Philadelphia, and refuse to foreclose on families that we can take the foreclosure issue to the national level. And so immediately I thought about my arrest record. Um, you know, over 200 some arrests and I decided that I'm very well experienced and uh, I know a lot about being transported and uh, I know a lot about uh, the importance of, uh, you know, having dignity and uh, I sure in the hell um, was ready for the next step in my life. And so I wrote up a hundred names of the most important mentors and people in my life and I called all of them and I wrote leading questions hoping to God that they would tell me, no, that's nuts. Um, and instead the opposite happened, which is every single person I called said, Sherry, not only do we think you should run for Sheriff of Philadelphia, but you have a responsibility. Um, because right now in this country, every 13 seconds, a family is going into foreclosure. And this next coming year, we have over a million families who are going to lose their homes. We have an opportunity in Philadelphia, a historical place, to make history. We have, 
We have an opportunity to grow the Green Party like never before. To speak to those million people who are going to lose their, their homes and to say by voting for Sherry Hunkala on the Green Party ticket, foreclosures stop. They stop now. This is not some kind of abstract idea, something that we hope will take place in the next few years while they supposedly say that they're going to change things in the halls of Congress and they continue to bail out the banks and not the people. I intend to be the people sheriff. And that means I will, I will be representing the people, not the banks, the developers, the speculators in corporate America, but real human beings. And I will ensure that no man, woman, or child is thrown out of their homes. Yeah. You know, but I'm up against an incredibly corrupt machine in Philadelphia. The last sheriff was there for 30 years, a Democrat, and they stole $53 million from the sheriff's department. And there's going to be a lot of federal indictments that go around. So they sure in the hell don't want somebody that's independent of the machine becoming Philadelphia sheriff. So I'm up against a lot, and I need your support. I come from one of the largest multiracial movements in this country called the Poor People's Economic Human Rights Campaign. I want to give those people an opportunity to vote for the first time in their life, to decide to join a political party, to understand that it's time for us to become politically involved and build the kind of organization and powerful team of people across this country. So I need you to go out there. I want you to hold the house parties. I want you to show educational videos. I want you to write songs about it. I want you to travel to Philadelphia in November and help me uh, man the, the 1,600 polls that have to be uh, you know, worked on election day. And then we will together send a message across this entire country that it was the Green Party that stopped foreclosures in America. Yeah. You know, thank you. Many years ago, as I sat in an abandoned property that I had to take over with my little boy at the time, because the, the shelters were full in Minneapolis. And so I decided that I would go and take over an abandoned house in order to keep me and my son from freezing to death in the cold Minnesota weather. Because I decided that it wasn't up for negotiations whether or not me and my son were going to freeze to death. Well, it's not up for negotiations anymore for any of the men, women, and children who are going to have their st homes stole from this, them this next coming year. The foreclosure crisis this next year with a million people going to lose their homes is a preventable Katrina. It's up to us to stop it and stop it now. Help me in my election, spread the word, vote for Sherry Honkala on the Green Party ticket, and let's take back America. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, many of you have seen my writing. Many of you know uh, that I have actually been articulating and advocating that I think that Sherry Honkala's campaign should not just be the signature campaign of the Green Party in the 2011 uh, election year, but I genuinely believe that this needs to be the progressive's signature campaign. And I have been pitching my, uh, my comrade John Nichols at The Nation magazine to cover it. I have been pitching individuals to do it, and I'm going to make a pitch and an appeal to each one of you. Now is the time for us to use our social networking skills and 
put on your Facebook page a link to why Sherry Hakala for sheriff will be a way to stop the foreclosure crisis now. 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 You can do it. And of course you know that I qualify for food stamps now. And I am putting out of my own pocket $100. $100. $100. This is the real deal. This is the real deal. Thank you. I'm the chairman. And nobody, and nobody can fund our liberation but ourselves. Nobody's going to fund our liberation but ourselves. And if we can't rally around a candidate like Sherry Honkala and turn it into what it needs to be, then we don't deserve to be a party, and we are a party. Hey, oh, Howie Hawkins, say it loud, brother. Well, Greg was asking, who do you make the checks out to? Make the checks payable. Sherry Honkala? And can you imagine what happens, by the way, when the Poor People's Economic Human Rights Campaign merges with the political party that's brown and black and white and we have ourselves shoulder to shoulder? We're going in and we're knocking on doors together. Can you imagine not only the message that sends to the elites, but more importantly, folks, with the message that that sends to each other. Whenever we can hold hands together and do the work together and merge the idea of social justice and ecology together and show that it matters. And the thing that makes me so excited is to recognize, to learn, and to know that it makes the Green Party not just a powerful intellectual idea, but a concrete and tangible example of why they need to get involved in elections. Sherry Hopkula for Sheriff. Hell yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.